badger breeder I'm gonna try and get this thing finished <laughs> this time <laughs> should have had it finished in one episode but I you know I would if I knew how to use editing software you know before we do this um, just for once in my life do something smart so there's a uh, <laughs> there's a water source that we can use um i have a hoe i don't remember if i made this on camera or off but um, i think i made it on because we were gonna we harvested those leaves and uh got quite a bit of leaves with it uh oh um but anyway i always forget i have a hoe when, uh when i need one i think i need to go make it because i am not used to carrying one now the trick is are these guys gonna have an inventory now if they do here's the uh here's the cool thing if he has any inventory he is a baby that grew up and his only existence is being generated from our farm and the only chance of him get, having anything in his inventory is from his parents throwing uh vegetables at him and the only thing they could have thrown at him were carrots because that's all that they have so that's good it doesn't look like he has it most of the time they just they run too fast to the beds and uh, and don't have a chance to pick up anything that gets thrown to them. But if he did have some, it would be carrots anyway. So we're in good shape here. He's not going to plant any trash in here. We'll just plant our carrots and let them grow up in here, and uh, we'll be good here. So let's see if we can. Get out without letting them escape. And it can be glass, it doesn't have to be. You know, it can be a transparent box, so that doesn't matter. Uh, let's be smart. This is crampy. We're going to put our piston there and our red block over there. And a lever behind it. So that turns it on, off, and on. Okay, so now we got that all done. And the only thing left is to put our water in. Put our source block here. That pushes them on top of the wall. And then we're going to put a source block right here, which is going to be our the water that pushes our villagers over there into that corner. Isn't there another block? Is there a block on top of this sign right here? I think so. Can't remember. I don't think it would hurt if there isn't. But um, okay, so this is going to be a three by five platform. The last one we pushed out to this side, and this time we want to push it out to this side. So two, three, four, five. So there it is. It's a thing of beauty, isn't it? I don't think we have enough glass. We need to make a wall all the way around it. We don't really have to have those corners. So if we run out, I guess we can reclaim those, but can't remember. Oh, yeah, perfect. I knew I had enough. So anyway, one more water source right here. That's going to push our guys right here. Now, 
So the babies are gonna babies are gonna fall in here, come down, hang out on this block, and then when they grow up, they'll automatically swim. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So let's make it backwards from what it was before. We put a a uh, dispenser right there with our Mine car to it. Put a button on it, and then two uh, power rails. I think this is just going to be awesome. Perfect. Couldn't have planned it better. Um, anyway, oh, we need glass. Actually, I don't think we need it. I think we can use all. Is that the height we need? I think it is. <laughs> Oh boy. I don't know why it's so important to me to make these. Um, <laughs> I could have just placed, uh, could have just placed glass blocks down and been done by now. Um, but we just need more here, here, and here. There we go. Need an activator rail. Oh, please have an activator. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I hope that's enough power to get them up here. I think it is. I think that's how the one up up top is. But um, anyway, I found an activator rail. Put it right there. Then I'm just going to dig in here a ways. And let the mine carts drop down a hole. And we need so let's just do this. Um, okay, now when we place a water block that we don't have, um, Now, <laughs> now the mine carts will just fall here and we'll be able to, and they'll still be, they won't be, uh, you know, despawnable entities. They'll be whole mine carts that stay forever, but we don't have to worry about them despawning and losing. Not that that would be a big deal with our iron farm, but um, anyway, guys, I think. We're just about in business now. This water is going to be placed right here, and it's going to be held in place by this rail. I was a little worried that it would wash the rail away. Hang on. I need to put a... need to power that. But we tested that out in our... When I did the uh, villagers up in, in the into the iron farm I did this with them 
So, wait a minute. Let's bust this out. Oh. <laughs> uh, derp. Derp, derp. <laughs> okay. Let's get back down there. Problem is, I don't want to hit that um, fence gate. They get close. There, I think that'll do it. Let's do the bottom one, I guess. Nope. Not twice. Okay, now let's put our water source here. Oh no, that's a... Uh, it's a slab. <laughs> Okay. So we actually need to place the water source on this block right here and not on our slab where we just waterlogged the slabs all we did. So we put it here and everything should be fine. So oh, we just need to power these. Just need to power these. Gonna do looks kind of stupid. Okay, we should be good. Can't really test it until we have a villager available. Then these are better on the side. I'll put them on the inside. I do kind of like that. Okay. okay, my dudes. Get busy. Let's see what happens to you guys. But anyway, guys, that that's it. Actually, we're done as long as it works. And uh, we're going to have to wait a little while to, to make sure that happens. Got some mine cards in there. So the two things we really need to watch out for are first that our villagers don't glitch down into these holes. We may need to dig. You know, that's a good point. We may need to. Dig out some air blocks beneath it. I'm going to put lava down. I don't think it does any anything, but um, but if we do have any villagers that glitch out into that space, they won't be taking up any mob caps or adding any lag to our game. They wouldn't take up a mob cap space, but villagers do lag you. So anyway, I think this will be good deterrent. So if they do glitch out, uh, it's too bad for them. The other thing, I guess, is that make sure of, I need to go look at the one up top, but those two regular rails 
that in, are these two power drills at the bottom enough to get the minecart up to the top reliably every time? Okay, guys, that's it. We are finished. Took two full episodes to build this, which is ridiculous. Um, actually, more because digging this hole was part of it. But I'm anxious to see it work. It's kind of cool to have a delivery system. What would what would even be cooler is if we could be up top and decide, oh, we need another villager, and then hit just hit a button, and it would automatically it would come all the way down here and dispense a minecart for us automatically. Oh, I I did want to mention I brought back a magnet box because. One of the other things I did is uh, in between episodes, I went ahead and finished off the other six layers of our gold farm. So, um, so now we've got a pretty productive gold farm, very productive gold farm, actually. Uh, way more productive than our current storage system can hold. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, there we have it. Uh, when you see me next, we'll be upstairs where the uh, old villager breeder used to be. It's actually still there right now, but I'm getting ready to go up and tear it down off camera. And we'll be able to see a, uh, a good unobstructed view of our castle from, uh, from our cubby hole, our hidey hole. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next time, uh, next episode.